Hey you guys, how's it going? I'm back again with another video, and it's not going to be uh, fragrance related or anything like that. And if you stumbled across this video for the first time, and this is your, the, your first time watching me, uh, just letting you know that I have a fragrance channel, and I do reviews of fragrances and fragrance talk. Um, but this video is not going to be fragrance related, so if uh, you're not interested in anything else, you can either sit or just leave, but once again, this is not fragrance related. Getting back onto the subject is, uh, you know, I spend my time watching YouTube videos uh, like 80% of the time I am on the computer. Uh, I'm probably on YouTube, you know, watching videos, uh, trying to make myself better at what I do, my career, uh, watching inspirational videos, see how people, um, you know, from going, from being basically, you know, nothing, not really knowing what they want to do with their life to achieving, or they're like very close to achieving what they want. Those are the type of videos that I like watching. Um, and basically it gave me an idea. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have a random chat with my subscribers and, you know, just talk about life and what you really want to do. I'm gonna give you an example like uh, just to let you know I'm a cook I went to culinary school I finally finished and you know I can do what I wanted to do and basically you know when I was at age 16 uh, you know I was finishing up uh, high school and you know I was actually no I was actually 17 17 18 I was finishing up high school and I was here in Greece and I didn't really know what to do with my life because I was only here for like two years. Uh, I didn't really have much friends then. And I basically, you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do with the rest of my life because, you know, after high school comes college. And in college, basically, you study what you want to become. And I really did not know what to do with my life. Um, some people were telling me, hey, you know, you're good at English. You know your English very well. Uh, you speak the language a lot better than most of the people here in Greece Why don't you go and become you know like an English teacher? So I kind of thought about it. I was like, hey, that's a pretty good idea. Maybe I can do that uh, So I basically went and I took some exams to get into the school. I wanted and Because they were in Greek and everything like that. I failed them So I failed it once then they were like, you know what? Don't give up try it again. I basically went, um, I took the exams again the next year and I failed them again. And you know, people were telling me like, uh, maybe you should just go to a private school, a private college and you know, do what you want to do and stuff like that. And I wasn't really feeling happy about myself. You know, I, I like, I didn't really, I never liked, you know, I wasn't always the smart one in school. Um, I wasn't really smart. And I didn't really like school either, you know, I just hated the thought of, you know, have to sit down and read, read stuff that you like, you don't find it interesting and probably it's not going to help you in your everyday life anyway. So I was like, ah, oh, I couldn't take it anymore. I told him, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to pursue this English teacher thing. I'm really not. So I thought I sat down one day and I thought to myself, I was like, what do I? And I was basically cooking, you know, like a hobby um, at home. And I thought to myself, I was like, what do I like doing? Well, I was like, man, you know, I wish I could like do what I do at home. I was like, I wish I could just go somewhere and cook and like, you know, have a good time. Uh, like appreciate what I do as a career, as a living. And I thought to myself, and luckily for me, there was a culinary school here uh, where I live. And it's basically like 10 minutes away and I was like you know what why don't I go and sign up for that culinary school I went and I signed up for that culinary school I got in uh, and I you know I started doing my thing and when and I had exams in that school too um we took exams uh, French uh, you know management and stuff like that but you know I liked reading about that stuff because you know I knew that when I passed those exams in like the near future I'm gonna have you know a, 
uh, a degree or whatever you want to call it that I'm going to be accepted to, you know, a lot of jobs that I'm interested in, you know, that I'll feel happy working. And basically, I did it by myself. I went and signed up, you know, I like, because some people were like, oh, why do you want to, you know, get into that and get into the pots and pans and, you know, like, just thinking about being around, you know, uh, the heat and cooking and, you know, all that stuff is just, it doesn't sound like a fun job. It's, it sounds miserable. And I even had people that were already doing this as a career come up to me and say, I don't, you should not go down that way because it's not really what you think. And basically those people that were telling me it's not a fun career are basically because they didn't like it. They didn't like what they do, but I like what I do. You know, I like cooking. So why don't I just turn my hobby into my job? You know what I mean? So even my parents didn't really like that idea either. Uh, I remember my mom was like, oh, why do you want to become a cook? You know, just like a lot of our parents, they either want to see us, you know, becoming a doctor or a lawyer or a teacher, you know, something um, uh, like becoming something that is really that sounds really good in life you know like doctors and lawyers and teachers and all that uh you know they sound really great but you know a cook you're like okay he's a cook what does he do he cooks food big deal it's not like that you know it's my passion it's like what i do i like that's what i like doing basically you know i per i pursued that i went and joined uh the, uh, the culinary school and I finished it and actually believe it or not I don't like to brag or anything and hopefully none of my uh, classmates <laughs> see this video but I, I, I believe that I was like one of the top dogs in my class I'm not gonna lie and why do I say that because every time I would cook something like 80% or all right 80 might be a little too much 70% of the time that I would you know they would tell me like okay you got to cook this or you got to cook that from scratch by yourself 70% of the time you know I I aced it you know I passed I mean like they tasted my food and they were like you know what this is really good and for you never working professionally this is really good so I felt very happy there was also like two three there were like four other kids that were like into this uh, culinary passion and you know basically we kind of made a group and blah blah but I'm getting off topic basically what I want to say is do what you like to do you know um, you will feel a lot happier about life when you just do what you want to do don't let other people get to you and say you can't do it you can accomplish what you want to accomplish really you can and basically, you know, that's it. Now, that's all I wanted to say. But just remember, you can do what you want to do. And even if someone thinks it's stupid, and don't let it get to you. Really, don't let it get to you. Just think straight. Do what you want to do. Basically, whatever makes you feel happy, go ahead and turn it into a way of living. You know, what you do, a career. Because, you know, I know a lot of people that are doing jobs that basically they hate it but because you know they're kind of um the people or the surroundings and the people around them kind of transformed them they molded them into you know being what they are that day but they didn't really want to be that uh basically you know they're miserable they don't like their jobs so do what you want to do um especially if you're young uh do if you're young you know just do what you want to do uh, pursue it and hopefully in the future you're going to be at that spot that you always wanted to be you're going to look down and say you know what I'm really happy I did this because if I didn't who knows you know I probably wouldn't be happy with myself like I am right now uh, so basically that's all I wanted to tell you guys I know it was off topic it's not about you know what my channel is about but I just wanted you know to talk you know person to person with you guys and tell you what I feel and you know maybe give you some motivation inspiration I don't know um, so that's all I wanted to say I hope you guys really like this video and I hope if someone did watch this video and I inspired them just a little bit you know I gave them a little spark I am very happy you know to do that so until next time I hope and I probably will see you guys again
Peace.